Hey everyone, this is Jim. Um, for those of you who follow this channel, you know I did 10 videos uh, earlier this year. Some were uh, remixes, some were unused footage, and one was brand new footage, the one from Atlanta. Um, and uh, I said I'd be back later this year with some more, and lo and behold, I have 10 videos I've put together over the past few months uh, to take us through the rest of the summer and early into the fall. Um, usually people like to ask, what's next, what's next? And uh, I figured I'd do something different um, for this occasion. Uh, this video is going to tell you the 10 videos that are coming next. Um, we'll have the screen, sh the title shot, I should say, uh, of each video, and I'll talk a little about each one. Uh, so it'll give, you some, it'll give you something to look forward to, and I'll also have the uh, schedule for when it's going to be released. So um, not to wait any further, let's get on with it. Here we go. This video is basically video 1343 from Los Angeles, uh, remixed and expanded, uh, and it's expanded all on the front. Um, the, the original video starts on I-5 uh, a few miles before the East LA interchange. Well, this video starts all the way uh, back on uh, I-605, uh, even south of where 105 comes in. So uh, you'll get uh, almost twice the ride out of it, maybe a little more than twice the ride because there's three songs in this video. Uh, that loosely share a theme, uh, and I do mean loosely, it, it was a little bit of a stretch, but they all kind of share a theme from the year 1969. Um, and uh, the last part, um, with the color correction uh, that I'm using now that I didn't know how to do back in 2013, that sunset in the last segment uh, really pops. Uh, the video, uh, it, it ends really strong. So um, hope you enjoy this one. It'll be the first one out on Monday, August 3rd. This video uh, up at the nation's capital area, uh, the Beltway uh, 1411 remix, and it's also expanded on the front end as well by about another uh, 10 to 15 miles, I guess. Um, story behind that, uh, we had some time to kill before we met some friends for lunch that day, and uh, I like stadiums and sports arenas, so we went to FedEx Field uh, to see it. And I wasn't expecting much, and I wasn't disappointed because it really isn't much of a stadium. For as big as it is, it's not a, an impressive uh, piece of architecture at all. Um, but we set up the camera in the parking lot and we um, started filming as soon as we got on the beltway from the uh, exit uh, leaving the stadium there. So you got that on the front end. Uh, I never really liked 1411 to begin with. Uh, this is a completely new soundtrack too. Uh, I love Rush and that was a Rush soundtrack in the original video. Um, but the spirit of the radio for as great a song as it is, is really not fun to edit to. There's a lot of starts and stops in it and it I think it just killed the momentum of the video so I never really liked it uh, so I got a chance to make amends here. This video um, my good friend Justin uh, Rockers K08 you may know his channel on YouTube he does excellent videos as well um, he came to visit me in Atlanta for a few days uh, over the summer and we had a great time and uh, this was part of uh, me showing him around the city and well, we had the camera rolling a lot. He's going to use most of the footage So uh, watch for a lot of Atlanta videos uh, and beyond uh, on his channel coming up um, If he hasn't already started them already. I'm not sure of his schedule yet um, But uh, this is footage. Uh, I really wanted to use so um, I basically took this and gave him the rest um, I'd had some requests for uh, another street tour I hadn't done one in some, some time in Atlanta and a lot has changed so uh, we got some really good footage here uh, going through downtown and up through Midtown and into Buckhead. Um, I tried to use uh, a very uh, Atlanta-centric soundtrack uh, with uh, several different types of music in it too. So um, this, this video will probably be hit or miss, uh, but the, the footage looked pretty good and uh, there was light traffic. It was on a Saturday uh, mid-morning, so uh, that was in our favor as well. But I had a lot of fun uh, with this one, uh, having Justin with me and uh, him seeing uh, the streets of Atlanta for the first time. The next video, 2014, is from Seattle. And uh, this is some unused footage uh, from the Seattle trip. Uh, I just didn't feel like uh, at the time I was doing the videos for that trip that it really fit in well. It was a little redundant with the I-5 part, um, but we do have uh, the Evergreen Point Bridge going uh, eastbound, which is a really nice ride, and some footage of 405 uh, heading south. So um, it definitely fits here, and I was pretty happy with how it came out. We've got one Seattle band on the two-song soundtrack, and uh, the other song 
maybe kind of sort of sounds like they could be from Seattle. I don't know, but uh, I felt that the songs fit together. And uh, I hope that uh, y'all will enjoy it when the time comes. Next up is video 2015, which is originally video 1515, uh, but with about twice the footage. Uh, the original video, I cut it short uh, with one song. I uh, just really didn't like how the footage looked. We were going into the sun. It's really hard to make the footage look good. Uh, but with a little color correction and a little tweaking in the editor, I, I thought that uh, I was able to make it look bearable uh, for this video. So we went with the whole clip that we shot. Uh, which was, I don't know, I think some 35 or 40 minutes. So uh, that required more music. And um, the first song was a Joe, the first video was a Joe Satriani song, which worked great. But uh, with this one, we went with a little more of a Western theme. This is, uh, this is no man's land out there on I-8. It's different looking. It's desolate. Uh, it's quite a drive, too. Uh, I definitely would like to do it eastbound one day. I've never seen it eastbound. Uh, but if you ever get the chance to do it going into San Diego, it's, it's well worth it. Uh, so uh, I was really happy when this video came out. It was actually a lot of fun to make, too. So uh, I hope you enjoy it as well. Video 2016, uh, we're back to the San Francisco Bay Area, twice across the bay. This is originally video 1319. Um, the reason I'm redoing this, uh, two reasons actually. Uh, one, just to show some footage of uh, the old Eastern Span again. Uh, it uh, got taken down when the new one opened uh, a few months after the original was uh, filmed here uh, back in 2013. And also, um, I love the songs I used in the first one, but they didn't work that well. I just really wasn't happy with the video. Um, same thing as uh, The Spirit with the Radio with the song Topaz. It's a great song um, by Journey, a San Francisco band back before they had Steve Perry. They were more like a Santana band, uh, but the song was just too choppy. So I went with a totally different soundtrack here. Uh, nothing like the original one, I can assure you of that. And you'll know when you hear it. Um, but uh, this one came out pretty good. Uh, the footage itself was a little herky-jerky due to the traffic, but, you know, that's the San Francisco Bay Area for you, and uh, it could have been a lot worse, so I'm not going to complain about that. Um, but uh, this one came out pretty good, and it was also, uh, it was fun to make, I, I got to admit, too. Video 2017 is uh, originally video 1631. This was back... Uh, from uh, before I had my cataract surgery, so uh, it didn't really look right now that I look at it. So uh, I took the opportunity to uh, redo the video both visually and with a different song. Not that the first song was that bad, but I think I could do better and I felt like I got a better song and um, better speed, better timing, better tempo to it as well. So uh, I'm overall happy with how this one came up. Um, as always, the original video will uh, stay on the channel unless um, the powers that be decide to take it down. I certainly won't. And you can compare the two and see which one you like better. Uh, but I was happy with how this one turned out. Next up is video 2018 from Houston. And this is some unused footage from the 2015 trip. Uh, this video was shot before 1509 was. Um, it was basically the only route out of Houston that was um, somewhat flowing at the time. Uh, and morning rush hour in a large American city, that's kind of what you get. Um, so uh, we filmed it, and I didn't use it at the time. I just didn't think it was that great, but I've been told that uh, some people uh, like videos that are in heavy traffic. Now, don't get me wrong. It's not crawling the whole video. It's moving enough, uh, but uh, I thought I was able to make something out of it, and this was the beginning of a very long day that ended uh, in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Uh, this is the same day we did the uh, El Paso videos, especially the one at night. And uh, crossing Texas was uh, a very interesting experience. That was the first time I'd ever done it on I-10. So um, I'll remember this as a long day and it uh, had a pretty interesting start. Video 2019 uh, is essentially three videos in one. It's video 1312 from Glenwood Canyon in both directions. Video 1313, the impromptu uh, footage from Debeat Canyon that has been taken down since, uh, a while back actually. And video 1314, which is both directions through the San Rafael Swell on Utah. All three of these videos take place on Interstate 70 and the uh, scenery is just amazing. The video can't do it justice to, as to how it looks in person, but I uh, give it the best uh, shot that I could for it. Um, this video uh, with the color correction and tweaking inside the software looks much better than the originals. 
Um, got a completely new soundtrack than what was used in the originals. So uh, I'm really happy with this. It's uh, season finale quality, in my opinion. Um, but the season finality is the next video, and we'll get to that in a second. Uh, but I'm very happy with how this turned out. It was a joy to work on. Um, just had a lot of fun with it, and uh, I hope that comes through when you watch it. All right, this is video 2020, the season finale. Uh, go big or go home, and this one's big. Uh, this video comes in at 55 minutes. It's the longest one I've ever done before the commentary. The original video of this, 1328, uh, is 28 minutes long. Um, the, the reason this one's much longer, it's a combination of uh, probably 40% new footage. There were just some clips I didn't use in the original. Uh, some of the clips going inland, the light uh, just was a little crazy in and out through all the trees and the direction changes, but uh, I made it work here. And also, uh, this video was slowed down quite a bit um, from the original. Uh, and I'll admit with the people who said that it was too fast for the turns. And some people complained it made them sick, and we certainly don't want that. So I slowed it down quite a bit here. It still may be a little too fast, but it's certainly better than it was. I tried to keep that in mind, uh, but there was a lot of fine timing to uh, work with here. Uh, it ended up being an 11-song soundtrack. Uh, and this video uh, was a real bear to make. Uh, fun at places, fun at times, but overall, it was it was a, there was a lot to it. It took me close to a week to finally get everything just the way I wanted it. Um, probably was a little more meticulous with this one than some others, um, but I really wanted this one to come out special because it is the last video uh, for the year. Um, hopefully I'll get to do some next year. We'll see how things go um, as far as uh, the coronavirus and all that and uh, my travel plans. Hopefully uh, nothing comes up that'll prevent me from going uh, if everything else clears up. So um, I hope you enjoyed the 20 videos for this year uh, and these 10 to come. Um, got every Monday. Uh, I try to put them up around 10 o'clock in the morning. I try to be consistent with that. Um, if something's coming up, I might put it on uh, Sunday night or uh, a little earlier or a little later if I have to. But uh, I do try to stay consistent. consistent. So uh, join me every Monday morning for the next 10 weeks, and I hope you enjoy these uh, new videos. Take care, everyone, and thank you for watching.